Stephen, three wins on the bounce. That's really good form. A healthy place in the table as well. This must be a very good place to come to work in the, at the minute. Yeah, it's been like that for a while. To be fair, you know the boys have bought into everything that we've, we've kind of spoken about through the um, through the course of the season so far. So um, it's been it's been really good. Like I said, the performances have been very good in the last three weeks. Um, we've got another difficult game on Saturday, so um, we'll just keep progressing the way that we can every day in training. We'll keep working the players the way we, we have done. So and and like I said, they're in a good place. I think you look back at that defeat against Berwick Rangers in December. You spoke it then about standards at this club. Was that a time to really refocus your group? But the, the reaction since then has been excellent. With young players, you're going to get kind of you, you get a lot of ups and downs. You, uh, you've got inconsistencies, and that's part of their development. We're in that development stage with them. You know, it's it's yes, it's important to to, to win games. Of course, we go into every game wanting to win. We they go into every game in training wanting to win. But the performance is the most important thing for us, and that was what was disappointing in the Berwick game. The performance wasn't probably at the level that it had been in previous weeks. Um, since that, we've had, we've had three really really good performances, um, and like I said. With young players, you get inconsistency. So, like I say, our, our job is to guide them. It's to, it's it's to um, develop them in a the game. It's about our job is to teach them what we feel as if they need to work on to catch the manager and the first team staff's eye. And then, as you said, it's Galafferdin at the weekend. Twelfth in the table again. Those mid-table teams they can be really tough, sticky opponents. So the boys will need to be focused again to get the three points. Like again, we 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 focus mainly on us. Dylan, to be honest, that's the way because we're trying to get into our first team. So it's really important that the, the mentality, the principles that we play to, and that, that, that we play the way that we want to play, the way that we train every day, that's where your habits are, are, are made. Um, so Saturday's going to be the exact same. Well, yes, we'll, we'll know exactly how Galafari Dean are going to then play. We know what their threats are. We always pay teams the utmost respect, but it's what we do. And that's what we kind of focus on with this group of players is, is their development. It's probably the first chance we've actually had to speak to you and talking about getting into the first team about Rocco Vata making his debut against Hibs. Yeah. I imagine there's an element of pride and you know and, and hoping that he really kicks on from there. Uh, listen, it absolutely is. You know, there's there, there's a few that are bubbling away. Our, our job is to develop players, uh, develop people. It's like I say, when you come through at our club, it's it's important that you've got the values of the club because it's it's when you see somebody breaking through. Of course, you're, you're filled with immense pride for them. It's 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 not about us. We've we've always said that for the start of the season, it's about the players, it's about them, it's about their families, it's about everybody. Then seeing the rewards that, that you can get when you work hard. Rocco's worked tremendously hard for the first day in pre-season, along with Boston and along with other players that have come in the group. It's been it's, it's been it's been excellent to work with. Like I say, we do our job to the best of our abilities, and and that's what we'll, we'll always try and strive to do.